do visa officers ever make a decision before the actual visa interview whether or not to approve or deny someone's visa? I'm a former visa officer and U.S. immigration attorney, and I'm excited to tackle this question today because there is just so much misinformation out there and rumors that visa officers make decisions before the actual interview or that they have quotas of people that they actually have to deny in a certain day. And I can tell you definitively that it is absolutely not true that visa officers make decisions before the visa interview. They never do that. They have to wait until the actual interview because the interview itself is actually the most important part of the process. They have questions about your DS-160 application, about your paperwork, and they want to ask you face to face, see what your answers are, see if it makes sense, and decide at that time if you're actually eligible for the visa. Now, there are certain types of visa categories, like the E2 visa, for example, where an embassy or consulate might ask you to provide information in advance of the interview. But even then, even if they're reviewing that information in advance, they're not going to make a decision on whether or not your visa is approved or denied until the actual interview, because they're always gonna have questions and they wanna know what your responses are before making a decision. If you have other questions about the US visa interview process, please feel free to comment below. I'll try to get back to you. And if your topic raises enough interest, I may make a video about it. Thanks so much for your time.